Happening today, one of our U.S. senators will tour Puerto Rico to see the damage left behind from earthquakes and hurricanes. Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris joins us now in the newsroom with a closer look at how Connecticut is stepping up to try to help the U.S. territory. Eva. Well, good morning to you, Irene. Following Hurricane Maria a few years ago, Connecticut opened its arms to families who had to leave the island following extensive damage and devastation, but the state's help didn't end there. In this video captured by Drone 3, you're getting an aerial view of Ponce, a city along Puerto Rico's southern coast. This is a glimpse of the damage to the island following a series of earthquakes and hurricanes in recent years. These natural disasters ravaged entire neighborhoods, leaving people without food, water or power. There's been an ongoing and growing push to get further help to the U.S. territory. Senator Richard Blumenthal has long demanded additional aid. We owe it to every single child in Puerto Rico that they have schools, health care, homes, all of the basic necessities that we regard as essential here in Connecticut and throughout the United States. He believes our country failed Puerto Rico by only providing a fraction of funds promised. Senator Blumenthal will be on the island today, joined by our Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell. Together, they'll survey the damage, better understanding what more has to be done. Today, Governor Ned Lamont will also announce the release of state funding. That money will be used for housing support, directly helping those who came here for, to Connecticut from Puerto Rico. In the newsroom of Evazamaris Channel 3 Eyewitness News.